Welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. Well, y'all, August is winding down already. School has started back and you can tell it by the traffic in town. Um, the first day they went back to school when I was going to work that morning, I thought, where in the world did all this traffic come from? And all of a sudden it dawned on me, oh, it's the first day of school. <laughs> so during the summer, I'm not um, in all that traffic. So that's just part of it though, y'all. Today, we are going to be making lemon squares. Now, this is a nice little refreshing uh, bar, I guess you would say. They, you cut them into bars. And so, it's very easy to make. <laughs> My favorite slogan. <laughs> and guess what? It has lots of butter in it. So, I'm very happy about this recipe. <laughs> so, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our oven on 300. Well, let me get that again, KK. Okay. 350 degrees mm -hmm. and let that preheat while we get ready to make our lemon squares, okay? If you have my cookbook, Sunday Lunch at Mimi's, let me find that cover. Mm -hmm. Okay, page 93. And sometimes when you see something all separated like that, you think, oh my goodness, that's too involved. No. It, I just did that to make it easy for you to be able to follow the instructions. So the first thing that we're going to put in our mixture is two cups of all-purpose flour. And then, wow, two sticks of melted butter. Mm. So let's put our butter in here and we'll get it ready for the microwave. Okay, I'm gonna set that on a minute. And then one half cup of powdered sugar. And this is the same thing as Dixie Crystal. You know, I told you in the out in the West and Southwest, it's called Imperial, but it's the same thing as Dixie Crystal. So we're going, I'm just going to kind of mix those together while our butter is melting. And you mix this with a fork, very much like you would um, a pie crust. So as soon as our butter melts, we will add those together and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, the butter has melted. And y'all, that's a little hot, the, the bowl is. Well, I'm sure the butter is too, but that doesn't matter. So we're just going to mix this around. Get it ready for, and you make this in a nine by 13 casserole dish. You don't have to worry about making it in a pretty dish because you could slice them and take them out anyway. So just something that's functional is all that you need. You don't have to spray it or anything because with that much butter in it, <laughs> you know it's not gonna mix, you know it's not gonna stick. So, and all you have to do is just get this stuff mixed. I mean, you don't have to beat it forever. So we're gonna put it here in our casserole dish. And this is just a nine by 13 Pyrex. The old timey clear one. All right, let's get it all out of here. Okay. And you just about have to do this uh, with your hands. And so we're just going to press it out. It all spread out here in the bottom of our dish. Try to do it as evenly as possible. And you kind of want to make it so it resembles a pie crust. You don't have to have it up on the edges. Just kind of fill it out. And just be sure you've kind of got it even in there. Doesn't have to be all that pretty because we're going to cover it up. But we will.
make sure it gets to all the, the corners. Oh, okay. Now, as soon as our oven gets ready, we'll put this in the oven and we will start baking. Okay, our oven has preheated. So we're going to put this in our oven and set this on 15 minutes. Oh, wow, wait a minute. Okay, now, so while that's in there baking, we're going to go ahead and assemble our next layer because once it comes out, you just pour it on top of it and then stick it back in the oven. So we will be right back and do the next layer. Okay, y'all, this is the next layer. So it's four eggs. So it says slightly beaten. So we just go slightly beaten. So that's slightly beaten. Two cups of sugar. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. odd. I yeah. don't know how they do these cups, but it's opposite of what my hand does. So let's mix that in there. Okay. And then four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. And I didn't convert that into cups so we wouldn't be confused. All right, so we mix that until it's mixed in there together. Let them get acquainted here with one another. All right, now, since they are lemon bars, this is the lemon juice. And it's six tablespoons of lemon juice. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that'd be nice and lemony, won't it? Uh -huh. That's it, it's lemon bars. Okay, so we're just gonna mix this together. Have to beat it a long time. It just really needs to be well blended. Okay, y'all. All right, our 15 minutes is up. All right, we're going to take this out. And this next layer that we prepared. I'm just going to stir it back up here. Okay. Ooh, that smells good. We're just going to pour this right on top. Just make sure that it goes all around. It pretty much will because this is very liquid here. All right, KK, you can get that. It smells so good. Yeah. All right, now we're going to put this back in the oven. Now that cooks for 25 minutes. So we'll set that on 25. And y'all... We're going to let it cook. We're going to smell it while it's cooking. Sorry y'all can't smell it, but we'll have that pleasure. So we'll be back in just a little while. Okay, y'all. Our time is up. Oh, this smells good. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Ooh. I'm 
I'm going to put them over here. Now, these have to completely cool before you can put the topping on them. So we're just going to leave them here. There's air conditioning vent right down there. <laughs> and so we, we're in good shape here. So we're going to let these completely cool and then we will make our topping to go on it. So we'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all, the first thing we're gonna do is melt a stick of butter. We're, we're getting ready now to do the topping. So we're gonna melt this stick of butter. I'm slowly but surely getting used to my microwave. Oh, it's terrible having to learn new stuff. All right, this is one cup of powdered sugar. So we're going to put that in there. And I'm going to wait until this, this butter gets melted. Y'all, it calls for one teaspoon of milk. Now, I don't know how important that is, but it must be important because I've made these things several times. And, of course, I always put that one teaspoon of milk in it. Kind of reminds me of a recipe I've got that calls for one teaspoon of ice water. And I'm like, okay, let's don't leave that out. All right, we'll put this teaspoon, and I put it in a cup so I could measure it out. Okay, now then, let's turn this kind of on low. Now, y'all. You're supposed to mix this thing for six to eight minutes. So I'm going to do seven. That's in between. So I'm going to set my timer right here on seven minutes. And you certainly don't need to watch this mixer run for seven minutes. So Caroline and I will be right back. Okay, y'all. Oh, seven minutes is up, and, and I've been beating this the whole time. Now, we add two tablespoons, and I had to put it in a measuring cup here so I could measure it out instead to add them one, tip, one tablespoon at the time. So that's one. This is... Two. Okay. Now, beat that good. I'm just going to beat this like for about a minute, y'all. This is kind of like a glaze that's going to go on those lemon bars. And so I'll mix this and then we'll be right back with you. Okay, y'all. This is nice and cool now. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put this. Like I said, it's kind of like a glaze, so I'm going to try to spread it out so it covers all of this lemon. Oh, y'all, this smells good, this, this lemon. I love lemon. It's one of my favorites. Okay. I'm going to let this spread out here. Let's be sure we get it all the way around. Make sure we get all of this out of here. Okie dokie. Now what we're going to do, we're going to let this sit for a few minutes so that this glaze kind of um, hardens just a little bit. We don't want it real gooey when we cut them. So we'll leave this for a few minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, they're ready. Now, I don't know if Caroline's go taste test these or not, but oh, they look so good. But I know one thing, I am, because I love lemon. Oh my, 
make my finger. Y'all, those are so good. Now, if you're going somewhere and you need to take a little either dessert, let me finish, or just a treat or hostess gift, you know, these would be perfect. They'd be absolutely perfect. They're delicious, and so it's something that would be easy to fix, and everybody would love them. So, Caroline, you want to taste test them here? Sure. Okay, let's let Caroline taste it, get her one. And then we'll see what she thinks about them. Mm-hmm. Well, she approves. Delicious. <laughs> so so that, that's, that's a good taste test. And um, so I hope you enjoy making these. I hope you enjoy sharing them with your friends. Thank you for watching, and thank you for all of your kind comments that you make on, on Mimi's Recipes page. Oh, y'all, I just love reading, reading all of them, and I get some advice along with um, a lot of other things, and, th and that's fine. That's fine. We're all in this together, and we can learn from each other. So I hope you are, are, are learning some things that are beneficial for you, and so... As the fall comes on, we'll have some things um, all ready for you and look forward to a time when we begin to change seasons, you know. So, of course, I'm not really excited about that because I love summertime. But anyway, I'll take whatever the Lord sends us. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. And everybody remember, shine for Jesus. <laughs>